So everyone, anyone who follows my Instagram knows that I'm I'm obsessed with putting things in a blender. <laughs> um, uh, I do it all the time. I I've actually stopped fermenting stuff as much um, because I'm trying to stay away from uh, glucose sources and stick to mostly polysaccharides, um, uh, just complex carbohydrates, and so. My big thing is, uh, and, and it's gotten pretty popular actually, is integrating uh, beet juice um, for like the inulin content, uh, which is great for um, biology. Uh, and also I figure like what you're saying is you're masticating it, right? You're <laughs> throwing it in a blender and it's just chopping it up in a whole bunch of little pieces. Yes, exactly. Like that right there. So that, yeah, so that's a compost tea I made with, with beet juice and oat flour um, instead of glucose. And it had fantastic uh, microbial density it had great like uh, bacillus chaining or what I assume to be bacillus chaining. Um, uh, and then at the end of that brew, I added uh, blended aloe vera. I threw just the whole uh, steak, spear, whatever, frond, whatever it is of aloe vera, uh, chopped into pieces and threw it in a blender, blended up real good, and then strained out all the fluids, uh, added it post brew because um, I don't want any kind of fermentation processes breaking down. Um, compounds that we might find desirable. And I know that um, um, aloe vera is so rich in different profile of, of organic acids and amino acids and enzymes. And, and, and um, you, you would have amazing amount of betaine in, uh, in the beet root as well. Yeah. And um, yes, yes, yes. Um, and nitric oxide too. Um, which is oh, another rabbit hole that I, that I really tried. This is a perfect transition into this next talking point that I had. 